Alright, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be making a sander for my lathe, just a circular sander. It should be pretty quick, quick and simple, so let's get right to it. Measuring here my piece is approximately 7 inches in width, so I'll measure 7 inches in length, then square it off, and then I'll make my cut. For this project I'll be using MDF, because it's a very flat material, which is important because it will be used for sanding. Next I'll find the center of the piece by marking a line from corner to corner making an X. I'll now make a simple compass just by drilling a hole in the center of the piece, putting a screw in it, and using a piece of wire to just about reach the edge. And then I'll use a pencil to create the circle. Using a bandsaw, I'll go around the edge of the circle. It doesn't need to be a perfect cut here, because I'll touch it up after with the lathe. I can now lay out the faceplate using the X that I drew before. I'll use a nail as a pinprick to mark where I need to pre-drill for the screws. I can now screw the faceplate down and know that it will be right in the center. Now I can attach it to the lathe and make it perfectly round. I'll just touch up the edge here, being careful not to take too much off. I want to leave the circle as big as possible for maximum surface area. Turning MDF is a bit messy, so it's a good idea to wear a mask. I'll now use some sandpaper just to break the edge a little bit. Now I can trace the circle on a piece of sandpaper. Now I'll apply some wood glue. Although spray adhesive would probably work better, I didn't have any and I didn't feel the need to go out and buy something. I'll use a good helping of glue. MDF is a thirsty material, so it'll require more than you might think. Now I'll place the sandpaper down on the glue. I'll take another piece of MDF and clamp it to the faceplate, ensuring the same amount of pressure all around. I let the glue dry overnight before removing all the clamps. I'll now take a knife and go around the edge of the circle, carving off the excess sandpaper. I can now screw it onto the lathe. Now I need to make a platform to rest work pieces against. I'll measure up to the center of the circle. I'll make just a simple box with two sides, a top and a bottom. After making two cuts on the miter saw, I can move over to the table saw and rip my pieces in half. I'll put the pieces together, just for a test fit, before gluing and screwing them. Next, I'll find and mark the center of each piece. That way, everything will line up right for assembly. Now I'll drill four holes at the bottom, making sure to countersink them all. I'll use a sacrificial piece to drill into. I'm now ready for assembly. I'll start with a little glue first, and then screw the bottom on. All I have to do is match the centers that I marked earlier, and now I know everything will be perfectly aligned. I'll flip the piece over. Now I can glue, drill, and screw the top on. When I cut the top, I left it slightly larger than the bottom. That way I'll have a bigger work surface. I can now bring the box over to the lathe. I'll just use clamps to hold it in place. That way it's an easy switch from a sander to a lathe. Now I'll try it out on just a piece of scrap 2x4. It works well. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe.